In this video, we're going to look at a few sample images and see how they might be traced. This castle, for example, I've got a copy of it down here which has been traced, and I've used the 16 colours preset. That gets to pretty much what I want. We've got a bit of detail in the brickwork, we've got a little bit of detail in the sky, though I would probably be removing that anyway, and we've got some detail but not very much in the grass. Now what I would probably do to this image to finish off the trace would be to expand it, use the magic wand to select similar areas of colour, and then delete the ones I don't want. Because it's a simple trace, uh, it looks pretty clean. I would also zoom in on anything I really don't want, like for example this character, if I just don't want him, just delete. Usually good to hit delete twice to get the points that are left over and get rid of anything, anything loose like that as well. Now I could simplify this a fair bit further if I wanted to, or I could stop there. Uh, but that's a good basic starting point for a nice vector image of a castle. The next image, this uh, beach scene, pretty much needs not much done to it at all. If we look at that I've used the high colour tracing preset, and we've got some lovely detail in the clouds, and the ocean is looking really quite painterly. It's got lots of things which look like brush strokes, and obviously they're not, but this is easily an effect which I could go with in a lot of scenarios. So for that I simply need to hit expand and I'm more or less done. It's going to be a complex one, which I'm sure the printer probably won't like, but it should work pretty well. Now I've got two examples here of a couple of images which might suit silhouettes, and they're quite different in terms of their source material. Now this one was taken late in the day in Kyoto in Japan, and it's got a lovely image of these lanterns against quite a bright background. This one, also from Kyoto, is of some bamboo, and you can treat those images in a similar way. If we look at this one, I've used a custom setting, but it's based on silhouettes. The thing which I've adjusted is the threshold value. So if I started from the default at 230 as the threshold, then really it's a very different result. This is where you define what's white and what's black. So for this image, taking the threshold down to about halfway is appropriate. For this image, again, I can start with silhouettes, or I could go with something like sketched art. But silhouettes is going to produce something that really isn't quite what I'm looking for. It really depends where the light and dark is distributed in the image. And again, I could push the threshold down a little bit, but it might not hurt to try something like the sketched art preset and see if you get anywhere from that either. In this case it's worked quite well. There are a few other changes which got made and you know that would be a good result. The last one we're going to look at is one you might use to trace a technical drawing and preferably a real technical drawing as opposed to my hand sketch technical drawing. If you have something like this then you might want to use a preset like Technical Drawing or perhaps Line Art. These differ from the other tracing presets because they use strokes rather than fills. Now you could create both, but mostly fills are what you want. Strokes here in this case mean all I've got is lines, and this looks very, very different on different threshold settings. With each image you'll need to experiment with the threshold, and also potentially with the number of paths and corners and noise to produce a result you're happy with. However, I really wouldn't recommend these unless you have actually created a technical drawing. The difference between the two options, line art and technical drawing, is that technical drawing has snap curves to lines ticked so that this won't produce any curves, it's all going to be straight lines, which would probably be appropriate for most technical drawings.